All right, hi Panthers, hi artists. So today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna continue talking and practicing drawing more facial features. Remember, at the end of the week, we're gonna be drawing our full face, our hair, every, all of our, our head <laughs> in a self-portrait. Remember, a self-portrait is when you, the artist, draw yourself. So again, before we do the full face, we practice the eyes. Today, we're gonna practice doing lips or your mouth. And then we're also going to practice doing noses and lips and noses and eyes. All these different features are very, oh, I got a little booger hanging here, <laughs> are very unique to you, which is why during this whole week, you need to make sure you have a mirror so you can go and look at some of your facial features. Remember when we went to go look at our eye, I wanted you guys to really get in there and take a look at things like eyelashes and your eyelids and what color your eyes are. It's important to look and see your own details. That way you can have the most accurate self-portrait later on this week. Okay, I'm gonna turn my computer around. I'm gonna walk you guys through how to draw some noses and how to draw just basic mouth. And you can change it based on what your mouth looks like, what your skin tone looks like, things like that. We're, and again, tomorrow, we're gonna be talking more about mixing skin colors. All right, because again, that's another unique thing. Let me flip over. I'm gonna turn my computer around. Oh, hello, art room. And I want everybody to be able to see my sketchbook all right so here it is i started to draw a couple of different kinds of noses for you guys to see i also thought it'd be really funny to draw a nose with the booger hanging out if you have a cold by all means be accurate <laughs> so noses you guys might see some people you have to take a look in the mirror the bridge of your nose is it start out skinny does it get a little wider what about the tip of your nose is it pointy? Is it round? You can keep your nose very simple too, like something like that. Uh, your nostrils, your nostrils are pretty interesting too. So take a look and see what you might have. But here's kind of just a basic way to draw some noses. I'm gonna go to a fresh piece of paper. Okay. So, well, I want to start with is I always like to start with the bridge of the nose. So yours might be wider, it might be skinnier, it might change, it might be skinny, wide, skinny, I don't know. It all depends on on your particular nose. And then something as simple as drawing some nostrils on the tip of your nose like this. And some of these guidelines here can go away. Ta-da! Easy enough, all right, but also we can keep it even more simple than that. A nose can start out with just the tip of your nose and then a boop and a boop. And we can make a little dark parts right there for your nostrils. And then two lines. Your nose can also just be a circle and some nostrils. <laughs> keep it simple, guys. Your nose can be a triangle, maybe a little bit more round, kind of like a candy corn, and then another set of nostrils. Guys, make it any way you think your nose might look. And again, I'm gonna give you some pictures of other types of noses that maybe you can skim through and find something that looks similar to what you have. Um, See, what's another easy one we can do? We can just basically do nostril, nostril, tip of the nose, top of the nose. You can do something like that. And if you want to still see the bridge, you can put the lines up to the eyes. Okay, so hopefully, I want you guys to practice this. If your nose looks bad and you're like I don't even know what this looks like that's okay you say oh no that's that's no good I'm gonna try again try again go and look through some of the pictures and just try to do your version of it all right so next is going to be lips oh my gosh 
Now, a lot of times, I know, you got to look in the mirror, guys. Lips can be kind of complicated. And I don't even know if you guys want to. If you feel like you would love a challenge, you can try to draw your teeth. Let's keep it simple. Let's just do plain old lips. All right. Best way to get you started, just draw a horizontal line. Next, you're going to draw an arch like that. That can be the top of your lip. And if you look in the mirror, you need to see, is my bottom lip bigger than my top? Are they about the same size? can be your bottom lip. And then if you look in the mirror, you're going to notice you have these peaks at the top of your lips. And that's when I take my eraser and I can do that. So if I'm looking at these lips, I'm like, oh my gosh, these lips, I don't think they'd match my face. My lower lip is a little bit thinner. That's okay. Remember, you guys draw light till you get it right. And I'm going to take a little bit off the bottom. And maybe you're looking at your reflection and you're like, oh my gosh, I don't just have a straight line for the division between my lips. I have kind of a little bit of a rounded part here. And then it goes down. And of course, you can get rid of that. Hey, that's pretty good. And remember, you guys, draw it lightly. You can go back and change it. You can erase it. You can say, ah, forget it, and do another one somewhere else in your sketchbook. All right? If you want to add color, again, take a look at your lips. Everybody's lips are different colors. It can be kind of a different set of skin tones, too. So if you're tanner, you have darker skin, you might want to incorporate a, a few browns in there on top of pinks. If you have really, really light skin or whatever, maybe you don't use the red. It's up to you guys. We'll talk about mixing colors later on, but just to get it to look good, why not? Let's try it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lightly go in with a little bit of pink. Um, and I know some of the guys in class, if you're like, I don't want to have pink lips, I'm going to look like I have lipstick on or something. <laughs> Don't worry. I would say if then, if anything, find kind of a skin tone color that matches you and just ignore the pink and add maybe a peach or a brown. Depends on what you got. Depends on you. This is so very individual to each person. I like to use a darker color in there maybe to outline my drawing and make it look really good. Maybe add a little bit of a shadow underneath that lip there. And then a little white to blend it all together. I like to use white color pencil on top of everything for a nice little shine here. Okay, so hopefully that's, that helps you. Remember, it's okay to make mistakes. Try again. Go through some pictures. This is just a big practice so that we understand how to draw ourselves. It makes you guys look in the mirror and take a look at your facial features. Tomorrow we're gonna to be talking about how to do hair and draw our entire face. This way we can start using our new knowledge, our lips and our noses and our eyes, and we can add that into our work.